Happy IO Tuesday, everyone. In this week's edition, I build a connected stuffed bunny for my newborn niece. Having recently moved to Colorado, I'm dealing with the challenges of living far away from my family for the first time, so I wanted to build a special method of communication for just my niece and I. This stuffed animal alerts me all the way in Colorado anytime my niece plays with it back in New York. In this video, we will discuss picking out hardware, building a connected program, and finally, putting it all together. Picking a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller is a crucial part of any IoT project. And it's really important to be thoughtful when you're making this decision. I myself hadn't worked in IoT for about two years, so I was really excited to see how far the products had come. Um, I just start with gathering all of my Wi-Fi enabled boards and looking at them, examining them, and going through the process of elimination. I started by looking at four boards, the Raspberry Pi, a SparkFun ThingDev board, the Arduino Yoon, and the Particle Photon. I quickly vetoed the Raspberry Pi because I wanted something much smaller. Then I moved on to the Arduino Yoon, for which I was looking to build a texting bot using Twilio, an API for phone services. I quickly learned that Twilio is a paid service, so I decided to move on. Next was the SparkFun ESP8266 ThingDev board. I used the same hookup process that we outlined in our IoT Hobby Kit experiment guide. It worked great using IFT and ThingSpeak services. While that was definitely a great option, I found out that IFT works even better with the particle photon because IFT has a particle specific service so you can totally cut out the ThingSpeak element. This board is amazing for connecting to the internet and I would highly recommend it for all things IoT. What's even better is that SparkFun has built a sewable photon shield which makes it even more suitable for a connected soft project. There are so many more Wi-Fi enabled boards that could have been good options for this project. If you have a suggestion for an IoT board, let us know in the comments below. Once I had selected my board, it was time to build the applet or program. Particle has an amazing service that offers a phone app with detailed instructions on setting up a new device and connecting it to the internet for the first time. They also provide a web IDE and thorough, easy-to-follow documentation. I went to set my applet up in IFT. For this, I selected the Particle Services New Event Publish function, and for that, I selected the Email Services Send Email function. Once my applet was set up, I breadboarded out my circuit and flashed my code to the device using the Particle Web IDE. A quick test confirmed that everything was working. Time to put it all together. Working soft is a much slower and more labor-intensive process than traditional hardware, so it's important to plan and think thoughtfully about your project before you jump in. The three main elements of this project are a soft momentary push button, which needed to be hidden inside the stuffed animal, sewable LEDs, which indicate when a button is pressed, triggering the IFT applet, and finally the SparkFun sewable photon shield, allowing for easy connection between soft materials and traditional hardware. I started with my button, which I made using foam and two pieces of conductive fabric. To get it inside the bunny, I cut along the seam to take out the majority of the body stuffing and replaced it with my soft button. I used two pieces of conductive thread for the button leads and sewed them out from the inside. I restuffed the bunny until its shape looked right and sewed him right back up. Then I used fabric glue to place my sewable LEDs in an arrangement suitable for a parallel circuit. Anodes point towards the center of the ear and cathodes towards the edge. I used one piece of conductive thread to connect all of the cathodes together around the rims of both ears and another to connect all of the anodes in the center. Finally, I placed my SparkFun sewable shield right under the back of the bunny's head and began connecting the conductive thread leads. I also added a lily pad simple power board to power the bunny without the chunky USB cable. The last step is popping in your particle photon, which should be already programmed with your applet. When I squeeze the bunny, the LEDs light up, and in a few seconds, I get an email. That's it for IO Tuesdays. You can visit our blog for detailed instructions on making your own connected stuffed animal, and let us know in the comments how you would use the Internet of Things to stay connected with your loved ones.